800-409-5633. Hi, this is Alex Jones. Did you know that the global elite are now storing non-hybrid seeds in secret storage vaults near the Arctic Circle? Did you know that in a real meltdown, non-hybrid seeds can become more valuable than silver or gold? It's true, seeds have outperformed even gold and silver before in this country, and it's possible that it could even happen again. So our friends at Solutions from Science have put together the perfect mix of non-hybrid seeds. They call it a survival seed bank, and it can produce an endless supply of nutrient-dense food for you and your family. And here's the best part. These seeds have not been genetically modified in any way, and you actually get enough seeds to plant a full acre crisis garden. So visit them today at survivalseedbank.com. That's survivalseedbank.com, or give them a call at 877-327-0365. That's 877-327-0365. Remember, in a real crisis, non-hybrid seeds are the ultimate barter item. This is Alex Jones for SurvivalSeedBank.com. Be new to freeze-dry foods. You may have storable food questions. You may want to buy your freeze-dried foods from a very reputable company and not go broke in the process. Welcome to the freeze-dry guy. Okay, actually, we're more than just one guy. We're a California-based company that's been serving our U.S. military and other government agencies with the finest in freeze-dried storable foods and emergency rations since 1970. See all about us at freeze-dryguy.com. With freeze-dry guy freeze-dried foods, you can and will be ready for just about any unexpected expected crisis. Freeze Dry Guy foods are delicious, require little preparation, and will taste just as fresh decades from now as they do today. Just add hot water and serve. Backpackers consistently rate us number one year after year as the best tasting and ease of preparation. Isn't that what you want for your family? Visit FreezeDryGuy.com or call 866-404-FOOD. That's 866-404-3663 or go to FreezeDryGuy.com. Freeze Dry Guy, the best you can buy. From his Central Texas Command Center, deep behind enemy lines, the information war continues. It's Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network. There have been new developments on the illegal aliens saying that citizens can't wear American flags in public schools and kids being suspended. The illegal aliens in San Francisco then marched the students in their anger over anyone dare wear an American flag. This is the balkanization. We'll talk about that later. Gerald Salente, founder of the Trends Research Institute in 1980. He is a pioneer of trend strategy. He is the author of the national bestseller Trends 2000 and Trends Tracker. Warner Books, far better than Megatrends, uh, is what the publisher of the internationally circulated Trends Journal newsletter. He's a political atheist. Gerald Salente is a political atheist, unencumbered by political dogma, rigid ideology, or conventional wisdom. Salente, whose motto is, think for yourself, observes and analyzes the current events, forming trends, future trends for what they are, not for what he wants them to be. Uh, like a doctor giving a diagnosis after gathering the facts, whether or not you like it, the prognosis doesn't alter the outcome. And we really appreciate him joining us. His website is trendsresearch.com. And I've got to say, he's probably, except for when we have somebody like Willie Nelson on or Jesse Ventura, uh, the most popular guest that we have on this radio show. And we're very honored to have him. Okay, some stations just joined us, Gerald Salente. Break down with your info. What happened with the market yesterday? Uh, you predicted... Uh, three years ago, the stock market plunge of 2008, a year and a half before, a year and a half after, uh, before what happened in Greece, you predicted it would start in Greece, Portugal, Spain. Uh, now they're saying England has as big a debt ratio. So does the U.S. Uh, they're announcing a global implosion. The banks, we know, are engineering this and hijacking uh, uh, countries. Uh, so break down where you see this going and what's happening with the markets and the next shoe to drop. Well, the next shoe to drop uh, appears to be happening again in Europe. First of all, the, what's going on in Greece is going to explode into social unrest worldwide. The people are not going to take it. I love the white shoe boy language they use. The average person has to suffer through their austerity measures so they could bail out who is it that's holding the bonds. It's these huge hedge funds and banks. They can't give them, here's their language, a haircut. What do you mean you can't give them a haircut? Oh, no, they won't even get a trim. You have to cover the losses. 
in the United States, the peoples accept that a lot quicker than they do in Europe. The Europeans know the story, and they're not going to let it happen. The next shoe to fall, probably Spain, Portugal, then Italy. The UK is in terrible trouble. We're going to see sovereign defaults around the world. It's happened before, and it's happened again. Let's make this 100% clear. The only people that are getting bailed out are the two bigs. They're not allowed to lose any money, always under the guise that if we lose money, the whole world system will collapse. It's kind of like, Alex, did you hear President Obama recently when he addressed the Wall Street crowd a couple of weeks ago? He called them the titans of industry. What industry? They're not making cars. They're not producing steel or building railroads. The only thing they make are profits. And they're not titans of industry. You know who they are? They're bookies. Call it what it is. But they're super bookies. These are guys that not only are touts at the racetrack, they also field the horses. Thoroughbreds that are really nags. Credit the fall swap. Auction rate security, that's all they are. Synthetic credit default swaps. Special investment vehicles. The whole fraudulent system is collapsing and the governments are going to crack down on the little people so they can pay off the gambling debts made by the big losses. Number two, as the markets collapse, what they're going to do, the big guys are going to bail out. As I have mentioned, what they'll say is that the markets are rebounding. I can't make this stuff up. As I said to you just several minutes earlier, they're going to say, this is a good buying opportunity. Well, between the time I said that and the break that happened to now, I just heard the clowns on CNBC say, it's a great buying opportunity to jump into the stock markets in Europe. Oh, yeah, it's a great opportunity to jump onto the Lusitania. It's going to have a lovely trip across the ocean. Anybody that buys into the markets or that buys into these lies deserves what they get. Gerald, I'm just speechless here as you go over this. I mean, we have the Goldman Sachs internal emails. We have the J.P. Morgan internal info. They premeditatedly, going back four years ago, sold governments, sold pension funds, sold private individuals derivatives that they knew were worthless while they were preparing to bet against them. And in their own emails, they say this will destroy our competition but the media is only focusing on the timberwolf emails uh, with goldman sachs when the others are far worse and now they're announcing don't worry we're engaged in financial terrorism give us unlimited trillions and uh we'll uh you know bring back the good times but then separately two weeks ago in the washington post the head of the imf bragged he said for rich nations this was the headline the good times are over the party's over you're not going to be able to retire we're going to take your pension funds. They're getting ready for it here. But, you know, our media won't say why the Greeks are rioting. They just say austerity. But when we talk about austerity, Gerald Salente, explain to people what austerity means under these Madoff types. Well, what it means is, is that everybody's standard of living declines. They tax you to death. They make it more and more impossible for small people to get into businesses because they put more and more charges on top of them and direct all the business to the big guys. Let's make this really clear about this bailout going to Greece. Number one, it's against the, Econ the European Monetary Union Charter for any bailouts. Number two, it's explicitly against the U European Monetary Union Charter for an IMF bailout. Who's the biggest funder of the IMF? Us. We, the people of the United States. We're the people that are now bailing out the banks, the J.P. Morgan Chase, the Goldman Sachs gang, the Merrill Lynch mob, the Credit Suisse. 
Where is all this money going to? It's going to the bankers. Number one, it's against the economic, the European Monetary Union. And number two, now we're footing the bill so these guys can get bailed out. What you're seeing happening in Greece with the people taking to the streets is going to happen worldwide. I want to make this very clear because, Alex, this is going to lead one of the elements leading to the Great War. Systems are going to be breaking down. They're not going to be able to stop the people any more than they're able to stop them in Thailand. Thailand hardly makes the news. People don't know anything of what's going on there. You've heard me say this over and over again. My expression as a Bronx guy is when people lose everything and they have nothing left to lose, they're losing it. And they're going to be losing it against the red carpet crowd who believe that they are the entitled people, that they could fix everything.